So we are starting with lecture number 13 of algebra. And in algebra, we were discussing our graphs. So this is what we did last time, the power function graph. And before that, we discussed uh, quadratic graphs, cubic graphs, all these things that was discussed earlier. And naturally, we also discussed linear because that is the basic with which we get started. So now coming back to this. Now, what kind of graphs should we discuss? So now we should discuss the concept of, let's say, graphs of simple reciprocal graphs. simple reciprocal function and what do i mean by a simple reciprocal function y is equals to a constant over x this is the same thing as saying y is inversely proportional to x so if y is inversely proportional to x therefore y is equals to k over x that is what we are discussing now let me draw a table over here with values of x and y so let me write over here x let me write over here y negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 and 3 and let me copy this thing and let me put it on the next page so I can use it over here also and also on the next page because I'll be drawing four kind of graphs from this and once more over here so now when we are discussing y is inversely proportional to x what happens is that uh, the reciprocal of negative 3 is negative one third negative half negative one reciprocal of zero is undefined one over zero is undefined if you use a calculator it gives you math error reciprocal of one is one reciprocal of two is half reciprocal of three is one third what do we observe let me first grab a grid and that's the grid right over here I can extend it a bit now what happens over here that is if x is positive reciprocal is positive y is positive that means we are focusing over here we are focusing over here the second thing when one value increases the other value decreases one value increases the x value increases the y value decreases so now over here the graph goes something like this that is how the graph of reciprocal looks like x increases y decreases x increases y decreases and so on and over here on the other side when x is negative y is negative so when x is negative y is negative now we are focusing over here when x is negative y is negative and uh, let me just draw this part and the graph goes like this that's the graph of this one so let me just adjust the grid a bit and now that is how it looks this is the graph of y is equals to k over x k could be any positive constant what about this value zero and undefined when x is zero y is k over zero any number divided by zero is undefined similarly if y is equals to zero zero equals to k over x in other words x is k over zero which is also undefined so the graph gets very close to the y-axis but does not touch it. The graph gets very close to the x-axis but does not touch it. 
in other words there are no x intercepts similarly there are no y intercepts so that's how the graph of y is equals to k over x is drawn y is inversely proportional to x is this all good all clear if so just acknowledge it on the whatsapp I'll just wait for a few seconds. Your WhatsApp group. Okay. All good, all clear. Now that was the first one. So simple reciprocal function y is equals to k over x that's done. Again, it's a simple reciprocal function. And this time we are interested at y is equals to negative k over x. k is a positive constant. Now over here, basically this graph was y is equals to 1 over x because I was using the value of k as 1. So for anything, let me just write y is equals to 1 over x. That's this thing. In general, I can write this thing as this. y is equals to k over x. The graph will be this thing. k is any positive constant. That's how the graph would look. Now over here, let me draw, not this thing, the whole thing should be shifted down. Y equals to negative 1 over X. So what is K over here? In place of K, we have 1. So now we have a negative sign. What will happen? A 1 over 1 with a negative sign, this is minus 1, this is minus half, this is minus 1 third and the negative will become positive. So this is 1 third, this is 1 over 2, this is 1 over 1 and corresponding to 0, let me write that thing in red or purple. So this is 1 over 3, this is 1 over 2, this is 1 over 1 and this thing will become undefined. So now if I use the grid over here and let me just shift this thing in the middle. Now what will happen is that when x is positive, y is decreasing and negative. When x is positive, y is negative. The graph will be made over here. Similarly, when x is negative, y is positive. x is negative, y is positive. The graph will be made over here. So now, uh, let me draw this thing. Blue color. And uh, first thing, it goes like this. And then the purple values, that goes like this. So that is how the graph of y is equals to negative 1 over x is made. Now compare it with the graph of y is equals to 1 over x. What is the difference? Let me copy this thing. And uh, I'll minimize it on the next page. Let me add a page to it. And over here, let me copy this. Let me minimize it over here. So this is of the format y is equals to k over x. This is of the format y is equals to negative k over x. Remember k is a positive constant. It's about reciprocal. These are called simple reciprocal graphs. Uh, what's the relation between the two? This blue line goes down. This purple curve goes up. That means these two graphs are reflection of each other. 
in x axis that is what is happening over here this is y this is x this is y this is x they are reflection of each other in the x axis so that's how this graph is drawn now let's move on and uh, let's draw the graph of square reciprocal graphs so they are reciprocal with a square in it square reciprocal function y is equals to k over x square k is a positive constant we can also say y is inversely proportional inversely proportional to square of x that means y is inversely proportional to square of x therefore y is equals to k over x square that is the logic that we are applying now uh, let me just shift this thing a bit downstairs and let me shift this thing also downstairs and we should carry this x along with us so now over here because of squaring what will happen because of squaring positive will remain as positive negative will become positive that means square of one is one reciprocal of one is one square of 2 is 4 reciprocal of 4 is 1 4 square of 3 is 9 reciprocal is 1 over 9 over here these negative signs after squaring will become positive and the reciprocals are still 1 1 4th 1 over 9 and what else is there we have this thing which is the reciprocal of 0 is undefined so again there are no x intercepts again there are no y intercepts you can double check it yourself if x is zero anything divided by zero is undefined if y is zero that makes it the same thing so now if i plot it where will it be formed x is positive y is positive x is negative y is still positive x is positive y is positive x is negative y is still positive so it will be made in these two portions so the red portion that's right over here that goes like this let me make it more better something like this and the green portion that goes like this so let me make it bigger something like this so that is the graph of this thing let me just shift it a bit something like this all good all clear so now what is the next one this is y is equals to negative k over x square k is a positive constant and we apply the same rule that is that when x is positive it will remain as positive when x is negative it will become positive because of squaring but remember there is a negative sign there is a negative sign on outside so therefore all y values become becomes negative make sense over here there was also the squaring but there was no negative on the outside so now what will happen it's the same values as before uh, this one which color have i used red and green so this is red this is one this is one four this is one over nine and then this is one this is one four this is one over nine and they all have a negative sign negative 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 and the reciprocal of zero is undefined again there are no x intercepts there are no y intercepts and this is for y is equals to negative one over x square we are just keeping it simple now someone has this question 
uh, that is what if the value of k becomes very big the shape will remain the same the steepness would change but in a sketch uh, we cannot show the steepness as such so now if i draw this x is positive y is negative x is positive y is negative over here x is negative y is negative x is negative y is negative so this is where it will be drawn this thing goes like this and this thing goes like this and that's how the graph is drawn all good all clear so now let's show them on a same page let me just copy this and uh, let me add a page to it just a small comparison and over here let me copy this thing so now this one let me make it bigger okay so now this one is uh, y is equals to k over x square this one is y is equals to negative k over x square again what do you see so i think i just need to change this into the right color uh, let me just erase this this one the same thing over here same thing over here and this thing is uh, not this thing color green okay okay so now this is y is equals to negative k over x squared what do you observe we observe that the relation between these two is reflection in x-axis why because this red portion goes down this green portion this green portion also goes down so whenever it's a reflection in x-axis you see a negative sign over here and vice versa so whatever we have studied so far let's go over it very calmly and then take some time and copy it down right away simple reciprocal function y is k over x that is y is inversely proportional to x that is this graph no x intercept no y intercept uh, y is inversely proportional to x but the constant comes out to be negative or there is a negative sign from before so now the quadrants are changed first quadrant becomes third second quadrant a third quadrant becomes second and by the way how do we label the quadrants yes that i can tell you that is if we are dividing it into four halves so this is known as the first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third quadrant this is fourth quadrant so this one is in the first and third it goes in second this is fourth by the way this is fourth and this is second that's the analysis and over here this is first and this is second it goes in fourth and it goes in third and that is the analysis so i'll just pause the recording over here i'll share the images with you take your time first copy it down so that you don't forget it so now let's try out some past paper questions so let's get started with this so past paper questions so now the question says r is directly proportional to cube of p r is directly proportional to cube of p therefore r is equals to k p q when p is 2 r is 24 when p is 2 r is 24 24 is equals to k times 2 cube 24 is equals to k times 8 therefore k is 24 over 8 which comes out to be 3 
first part find the formula for r in terms of p r is equals to 3 p cube that is the equation the second part find the value of p when r is 192 when r is 192 i need some more space so part b r is equals to 3 p cube r is 192 that is 3 times p cube so 192 divided by 3 is equals to p cube that is 180 plus 12 64 this comes out to be 64 that is p cube therefore p comes out to be 4 the cube root of 64 is 4 so the value of p is 4 that is the second part now the third part that is related to what we have studied in the previous class the first two part was related to lecture number 11 and the, this part is related to lecture 12 so this is lecture 12 and this is lecture 11 and maybe there will be something of today's lecture which is lecture 13 also which of the diagram below represents the graph of r against p now first of all this graph this is a cubic graph so if i draw a cubic graph so let me draw y axis let me draw x axis let me draw y is equals to x cube so that is how y is equals to x cube is drawn this is y this is x now instead of y we have r instead of x we have p and yes, there is a constant 3p cube, doesn't make a difference. So this is y and x. So look for this portion somewhere over here. This is reciprocal. This is a straight line. Let me write for each one of them. This is reciprocal. Could be simple. Could be square. This one is a straight line. So this is linear. This we don't know, not in our syllabus. This portion over here, that is like what we have drawn. So this is exactly the same thing as this. Yes, there are no negative P values, no negative R values. Otherwise, it would have continued. So the correct answer is this one. This is diagram number two. And what is the first one? Again, we don't know because it's not part of the syllabus. Or maybe there is no relation between the two. So that is how you have to identify these questions. Now, before we move to this one, let me do a bit of transformation. So let me put some label and that is transformation. Now, when we talk about transformation, it could be about a reflection just the basic idea, it could be about a translation or a shift. It could be about a stretch. Now, what do I mean by this? Now, this will take some time. Let me explain to you the idea. So, first of all, let me put the grid over here. It's right over here. Let me just shift it. Let me save this thing and this is add an element to the grid thing. Okay. Okay. So now over here, if I have the quadratic graph, that is like this. This is y is equals to x square. That goes like this. This black one is y is equals to x square now if i draw a red color graph that is more steeper this graph is y is equals to 2x square why is this so because for the same value of x you are getting a double value let's say if this is 2 I'm getting a value of y as 4 but if I go up this value of y becomes 8 do you get the idea so if we are comparing these two 
y is equals to 2x square is more steeper than y is equals to x square it's more closer to y axis that is what we mean by steeper so let me highlight this more steeper that means closer to y axis and let me just change the color so color let me make it blue color let me make it uh, blue so now the blue one is less steeper blue one is the original one red one is more steeper so now let me copy the same thing and uh, let me write it over here and this time let me erase the red graph the blue one is still y is equals to x square let me draw a green one that goes something like not this thing it's this one that is like this now the green one this is y is equals to half x square keep in mind it's a sketch it's just a rough idea so we will say y is equals to half x square is less steeper then y is equals to x square therefore it's more closer to x axis so let me just highlight this highlight this okay so now over here let me choose uh, blue red green purple so something like an orange so this is more steeper that is closer to y-axis less steeper less steeper that is closer to x-axis so let me label it this is red one y is equals to 2x squared this is blue one y is equals to x squared this blue one that is y is equals to x square this one y is equals to half x square so this could be half this could be one third this could be 2x square this could be 3x square as long as it's the number is getting bigger it's closer towards the y axis so i can write it like this y is equals to k x square if k is greater than one that's more steeper if k lies between 0 and 1 this is less steeper i think i've made my point and the same could be applied to a cubic function also now can we apply this knowledge over here now look at the six graphs let me focus on each one of them this one right over here and right over here that is one of them and uh, then let me focus on this one and let me focus something like this something like this it's just uh, no this is not happening okay i think it's gone somewhere uh oh I think I erased it. Something is wrong. Okay. That goes like this. This goes like this. Now, first of all, let me just write on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one and this one. Versus this one and this one it's not touching the x-axis it's just very close to it so the red one this is reciprocal this is of the form y is equals to k over x square this is lecture 13 today's lecture what we have studied this is reciprocal with a square y is equals to k over x square x is positive 
x square is positive, y is positive. x is negative, x square is positive, y is positive. This one over here, this is quadratic. So this thing right over here, this is quadratic. This thing right over here, that is also quadratic. Okay, so this one is also quadratic. What is the difference? The difference is positive x square. This is negative x square. That is the difference. And what about these two? This one right over here. This is like a cubic thing. No, this does not go like this something like this and versus this one the bluish one and maybe the greenish one okay okay so now over here this is y is equals to something x cube plus something something. This is y is equals to negative x cube plus something else. So now let's compare it with what they are asking. Which of the figures above could be the graph of x cube plus 2? So this is x cube. This is negative x cube. So figure C, that is the graph of x cube plus 2. This is x cube plus 2 when x is 0, y is 2 y is equals to 2 over x this is simple reciprocal this one is also reciprocal but this is square reciprocal so y is equals to 2 over x square that is simple reciprocal so that is figure a so this is figure a y is equals to 2 minus x square this is minus x square plus something so 2 minus x square is this thing. So this is figure E. This is y is equals to minus x square plus 2 when x is 0, y is 2. That is the logic. So this is figure E. Is this all good, all clear? So that's how the questions of sketches do come in a paper one time. And then later on in the next classes, we would be drawing our questions on grid, questions on graph papers. So I'll be sharing the uh, grids with you people. You can print them out beforehand so that we can comfortably draw it in class also. Till the next class, take care.